National Geographic. Mega science series, stunning reality, um, stunning science chemistry set. Stunning science chemistry set, and it is called what? Launch a rocket with CO2. Launch a rocket with CO2? Wow. Which is carbon dioxide. So, first, of course, get your little safety goggles on. We're going to double this, uh, the ingredients in this one, just to see if we can get a bitter, a bigger, bitter, a bigger, better launch and see what happens with that. So, measure 10 milliliters of water in the beaker. All right, 10. That's actually past 100, and there's a bubble. So we're going to be launching, the first line? launching that rocket. The first line? Yes, 10. Oh, that's actually not a lot. Nope, it is not a lot. Dump. Which I don't know. There's wow. going to be a lot of powder and not much water, apparently. This? Much water? 10 milliliters, that's what it said. What? So and pour that into tub? the test tube, yes. There's gonna be tons of powder too. I wonder if we can, I don't know, if we double that experiment recipe, if that's like very little water. Okay, so let's find out though. We'll, we'll start with one scoop. So first it says add one big scoop of citric acid. So that's the wrong ingredient. We have our citric acid right here. Now it's about to put in. Oh my, hold on, it's crunchy. You get it? Hold on. Let me Shut break it up. <laughs> Drop it in there and let me break it up. It's in chunks. Why is it in chunks? Uh, some of it is just chunky. Huh. Okay, so let's try that. <laughs> if we get big chunks, we'll just compensate. For the amount um okay i guess that's gonna be more like one and a half scoops oh wait did it say yeah let's try uh hold on let's oh, add a little more <laughs> but we're gonna add less than one scoop this time because we did we went over that time i feel like i can't crunch it that's probably good <laughs> okay oh. now of course shake it up dissolve it Because it's ginormously chunked. Oh. Wow. It's like there's more, there's almost no water for the citric acid. Well, I'm breaking well, it. Well, that's going to be interesting. This may not work. <gasps> so wow. Apparently, moisture got to the citric acid or something because it was majorly chunky. When we first got it. Yeah, it was actually kind of solid in that package. Maybe they didn't make it powdery. We almost needed to just take a hammer and crunch it up. I don't know. <laughs> Not now, though. Why? In the package, just like... Mm. I probably should have... No, you wouldn't hit it that hard. Was that good enough? Uh, yeah. I'll shake it as... Let's see, a little bit more, maybe. What I'll do is I'll get a leveler for our baking soda. Okay, that's probably decent. Hello? You're gonna, all right. All right, come on. So, we have that. Of course, you gotta take your lid off. Take the lid off. Oh, my lid is so tight. Uh-oh. There you go. Oh. Okay. All right. We have Entirely our... dissolved. Awesome. Okay, so this, this says that we needed one square of tissue paper. That's toilet paper. Yeah, tissue, bathroom tissue paper, whatever you want that called. Toilet paper, of course. So then we're going to add one. If you could put it here so we can do our thing. 
one big scoop of baking soda, which we're going to add two big scoops of baking soda to the middle of the paper. It's not level. And I don't know that that's one whole scoop. It is not a scoop. Okay, is that that's probably. A scoop? Yes, that is. Okay, one more. But this one is not going to be quite as full because we. All right, here, let's do this. I don't We're running low. Me. Let me see how much we have in here. Yeah, I think we do. It's just. Yeah. Hold on. All right, go ahead and do that. And then we're going to add some more. More. A little more. Okay, a little more. Uh, the only way to wait, 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 wait. Stop. Just dump it. Uh, no, because. Well, that might. Nothing left. Well, that's going to be a major reaction, maybe. I don't know. Uh, there's not going to be enough liquid to support that reaction, probably. We'll find out, but let's... Okay, so hold on now. What it says to do is... Hold on. Wait. Fold each corner in the center, creating a cradle for the powder. You're going to create a little... Cradle. And then we're going to... Put the paper full of powder on the test tube, but don't let it touch the water. So hold on. Let me make sure you've got all the edges sealed. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. Okay, so. Yeah, you did pretty good with your cradle. In other words, like this. Hold on, we want to make sure. Don't make it touch the water. So we're going to put that right at the top. Like that. Something like that. Wait a minute. So make sure the opening of the tube, hold on, make sure the opening of the tube and rocket are dry, and then insert the rocket into, oh, wait, wait, whoa, no, it's not like that. You have to have your edges folded outward to where you're not just putting the whole tissue paper into the water. In other words, you're not doing that like that. What am I doing? So now... It's spilling! It's fine. So now, insert the rocket into the opening of the test tube by pushing down and twisting. Can you... You got to get it down in there. And that... It's Stop. a lot. Okay. Oh, shoot. It's going to end up tearing it, and it's going to end up having a reaction before we're ready. There. Wait. Down in there. Is it down in there? Yeah, it is. In there. Okay, hold up. Now we flip it up. Insert. Down. No. Oh. Shake the. Okay, hello. Shake the test tube, allowing the water to react with the powder and blast off. <laughs> Oh my, okay, you can do the rocket again. I bet. <laughs> Can't even contain it. <laughs> do it again. My alleys are stinging. Okay. <laughs> the citric acid is not gonna do anything really bad. It's just like getting salt on your alleys because it's an acid. Woo! Cool. Look at look at how our how our reaction is. Yes, that was a little overboard apparently. Hey, you got it in my mouth. Okay, it's, it's you, luckily you can actually eat both of those things, but it doesn't taste good. It's probably salty. I bet it tastes salty and sour at the same time, and we're missing our rocket launching abilities. Let's see. I wiped it out of my mouth. I can't. I can't do this. Ooh, look. It's going to go. It's going to blast off. Woo. Oh, oh, wow. That wasn't much. <laughs> That's, and you could have to shake it a little bit. <laughs> the initial reaction. Why are you doing that? You think there's powder on there still to react. <laughs> I think it about dried it up. Ooh, I heard the gas. Uh-oh, tearing it. 
Let, hold it for a second, and then let release it, and then it will pop off because you're holding. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Hold it so the pressure builds up, and then let your finger off, and it'll go and blast off. Ooh, it's strong. Whoa. Wow. That was awesome. Let's see if you can do it again. I'm trying to capture the whole moment here. <laughs> ah! Blast off. It's going to... Oh. oh, my. That was disappointing. Um, our rocket <gasps> is falling apart. Oopsie. But it'll still blast off without the wing. That's just decoration um, mainly. And okay. Do the other end then. It's just for decoration. <laughs> I, I think our reaction is about spent. So now let's describe this That's while you're nice. playing with it. Oh, it's cool. It's cool. So what makes a rocket move? So in the most basic form, a rocket is a device that contains pressurized gas that, when released through a small opening, pushes the device in the opposite direction. Wait, it's going to explode again. <laughs> what That's happened? And another wing fell off. All right. So the amount of force that moves the object toward or forward is called thrust. The carbon dioxide released oh, in the chemical. The carbon dioxide released in the chemical reaction builds what? up until it creates enough thrust to push the rocket high into the air. So launching a rocket into space takes so much fuel that the heaviest part of a rocket is actually the fuel tanks. Really? When Not the rocket. When the rocket is launched, the fuel is burned to push the rocket into the air, and the rocket gets lighter. That's why you see rockets launched by NASA moving slowly at first, and then rapidly gaining speed. So that is the science behind all this. You still having reactions? Oh my, that was disappointing. Well, all our, our rocket moving. fell apart. It's really. Yeah, all the things. Well, we got some good launches. A lot yeah, of launches. And, and the stuff on the floor. Okay, and we'll worry about that in a minute. Oh, and my goodness, with towel. toilet paper. So you can't dump that in the sink, in other words. We're going to have to put that somewhere well, else. What? It's just goopy. All right, so that is our launching a rocket with CO2, and it definitely did several times. I don't know if you would have gotten that many relaunches without doubling the recipe or the recipe, <laughs> our chemistry experiment or not. Okay, what are you doing? You're just making a big mess now. I thought it would work again. Okay, so we're done playing with the water now. We're just getting everything wet. Please like and subscribe. If you haven't, please subscribe. If you have, thank you.